Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. The big news is, is oh wait a minute, is this news to you or just the president? Well, everybody around the world seems to be taking North Korea very seriously now. Except I think for our president. I know we keep hearing it going, do you hear what's going to happen with North Korea or do you see what's happening? Do you really think? Well, for now we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And North Korea likely to launch a relatively small attack that won't leave many people dead. Oh, yeah. Well, they're figuring that, that in an hour, North Korea can launch 500,000 artillery shells into South Korea. Uh, and if that's, that's not... Um, okay, it's serious enough. The only one in the whole universe that doesn't think it's serious is Obama and Chuck Hagel and, well, and, and Kerry. They're three people. The, uh, basically, the, the Russian, the Chinese, the French, but all the other embassies are leaving North Korea now. When the well, embassies are. are leaving, it's an yeah. indication they know they're going to... The, uh, um, the, yeah. yeah. Because they, the embassies have told the staff is that we can no longer guarantee your safety, so we're pulling you out of the country. And guess whose embassy is going to stay there, though? Ours! Well, yeah, because then they can get captured. Um, so, remember, it's going to be Benghazi all over again, folks, but don't worry, our president, uh, you know, he understands how to do this. Well, I think, uh, didn't they say there's no reason to put anybody unnecessarily in harm's way? Yeah, you know, Obama doesn't, okay, they said it would, okay, actually run, being president would interfere with Obama's flying around on Air Force One. Mm. You think that a guy that basically likes the regality of what he's got is going to walk away from the presidency? I know. He doesn't have to. He's having too much fun. Yep. Yes, and it's all over for the Republicans. Well, it is because Obama's basically trapped him now with his new budget. That he's going to agree to a, a, a re-indexing of Social Security that will uh, basically result in the wealthy people not getting as much Social Security as they should and going to raise the taxes on the wealthy. Anybody over 250000 is going to have to pay more in Social Security even though it's fixed by Congress and that in return for in re-indexing that people will pay more that are making money, he wants new taxes on the wealthy, which they thought was, I mean, the Democrats are, well, no, no Democratic president should ever talk about re-indexing. Well, it, it, they said they're, they're laughing this morning, and even, even the Democrats are laughing. It's, it's, it's a budget that has been, he's submitting the budget after the other budgets have already been approved. They're just, they're all laughing at him today. I mean, the guy is basically, he lives in his own little Alice in Wonderland. You know, it's just like a Obama in Wonderland thing. Mm -hmm. And Obama goes 2-22 and 22 on the White House basketball court. And, he's, and you know who he blamed for that. He said that he was so concerned over sequester and what it is doing to the little per person that he couldn't concentrate on playing basketball. Oh, really? Okay, like they're also. Why like, is that even yeah. a story? Yeah, I, don't worry though. Chuck Hagel also is giving back five percent of the money that he's going to make, uh, which basically. Did this department get a larger budget too, though? Oh yeah, he get they they upped it. They're upping his budget. Uh huh. And kid president stars in White House April Fool's joke video. Oh, it gets to be. I mean, this guy is basically. They said they're getting very tired of this president bringing people out for symbolism. Mm -hmm. I mean, he brings this, he brought, he brings nurses out, he brings doctors out, he brings this little kid out to show that he's concerned about children in Newton. I mean, like it is, he, they're going, they're basically Obama is in massive trouble over his thing in Denver where he hauled out all these police officers, heavily armed officers, against their wishes. And, and I understand officers are filing complaints with the unions about being ordered to attend this thing. They when, refused. When they didn't, didn't want to do it. They didn't want to do upset. it because they didn't because, support it. Because view. they don't support it and it looks like they support well, it. Well, he'd come out and said the fine officers behind me 100% support gun control measures that the state has put back. No, they said ver They said if you'd have thrown a, a rock, the only ones you'd have found that supported it were the people at the top. And that didn't include the police commissioner or the sheriff <laughs> who didn't show up or you know, only the chief of police, the mayor. And a few and city councilmen and the governor showed up at the thing because the others couldn't be forced to come. You mean the, all the political people? The ones that basically are really left-wing Democrats. Mm. And uh, March homicides dropped dramatically in Chicago. No, they didn't. They said that there's a 
they said what ha here's how it works. One of the people said in Chicago, he said, he said, well, he said, my kids are having to walk over the bodies to get to school in the morning. Ooh. And uh, he said uh, their idea of a, of a marked slow, you know, a marked slowdown in the deaths is that they just don't report them that much to make it look like the, that what Emmanuel is doing is working. Uh -huh. Okay, here's at the same time they point out there are 90 districts in the United States that deal with guns. Guess which state has got the worst worst enforcement record in the nation is Chicago. They do not even bring people up on gun charges in Chicago. And UN overwhelmingly approved global arms trade treaty. Yeah, and Obama's, Obama's supporting it because basically it would put the United Nations in charge of our manufacturing of weapons, which uh, first of all, we know that the, we know the Russians didn't approve it, we know the Chinese didn't approve it, we know the British didn't approve it, we know the Germans didn't approve it. What happened was overwhelmingly means every little third world and Muslim country in the book approved of it, but it, it goes nowhere in the Security Council uh, because it, no one's going to let it get by there because it means the, the Iranians can't manufacture weapons either. You think they're going to... Hmm. And Obamacare credits could trigger a surprise tax bills. Oh yeah, that's why I, I brought out Mad Bull Obama today because it's, they said the more you hear, the more you find out Obamacare, the worse everyone hates it. I mean, they really distaste this thing. That if you get the, t if he gives you a credit to pay for the health care that you no longer can afford, that you could pay for before, you're going to have tax. You're going to be hit it at the, They're going to take it out of your, um, uh, you know, out of your salary. If you didn't have medical care before and you have it now and can't afford it, you're going to have to get it taken out of your salary. Ooh. Your paycheck is going to be smaller everywhere. They said that then on top of this, 8 to 10 million people that had insurance are now going to be uninsured because of Obamacare. And Malaysia's Najib calls election close race expected. Yeah, but he'll win because it's a dictatorship. <laughs> okay, dictators, okay, okay, there's been ages since a dictator would win with 99% of the vote. Now, they always have a close race. They want to win by just a very small majority to show they have, a, they have an honest election process. Ah, um, sleep disorder makes people see demons. It's because they're walking around asleep all the time. They're not demons. They just don't see anything. They're tired, folks. Mm -hmm. And cruise ship secured it. Dock worker missing. Uh, I want to know how a god awful ship the size of a skyscraper can be moved in any wind. They can't. They shouldn't. Those things don't move in the wind. I mean, it doesn't make any difference if it comes unsecured. It weighs so much. There mm -hmm. isn't a, a, short of a hurricane or tornado. There isn't enough wind that can move one of those things, and yet this actually floated out to sea and took the. It basically, it 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 was still pull, uh, fast to the shore, but the wind pushed it out and it tore the the mooring Dump. out and it pulled the guard uh, tower into the water, which is another carnival. Carnivals had nothing but problems. They can't nobody. Carnival. I'm listening <laughs> to a guy uh, last night talking about it. He said, "I've got a 40-foot sailboat." In Newport, my boat doesn't move when the wind hits it. Even if it's not docked, if, if it's not anchored, it doesn't go Is it anywhere. A cruise ship? Is and it... If you had your sail up, it might move. Ships, when they don't. Okay, if there is no engine and there is nothing on a sail, they just set exactly where they're at. Yeah. And see what Barbie looks like without makeup. Um, she just looks like a doll without makeup. I mean, <laughs> without makeup, Barbie's not Barbie. So why would you want to buy a, a Barbie that looked like, you know, actually, it looks like your mother when she gets up in the morning. <laughs> and school pulls Jesus' portrait amid controversy. I know. Well, because you can't, kid, somebody painted it and they got him in trouble because you can't do religion. I mean, Oh my gosh! It's uh, it basically, religion is now a no-no. Oh, and here's a good one for everybody. Uh, is how much longer will Bill O'Reilly be kept on Fox News? How long? Probably not much longer because they're now doing the, okay, you know how he worships the ground that Obama works on? He's now doing the Obama stuff to save his job by bringing people out to do testimonies to how fair and balanced he is. And that, that, I, that, that, uh, that when you said thumping the Bible, that wasn't an insult and this and this. Well, we know you're not the type of man that would insult. What it means is, 
his viewership is going like that now and the sponsors are going like that because his viewers are the same people he insulted, you know, by Bible thumpers. Um, I hate to tell people that he also knocked the Muslims, the Catholics, the Jews, all the people that think that gay marriage is wrong according to, you know, Allah, to Muhammad, to, you know, to Buddha, to, you know, Jesus, all of them gay marriage is an abomination. He basically managed to insult every religious individual in the whole world. With the attack. And then Laura Ingram is basically probably never going to come back to the show again. And a Monty bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Okay, but this is something. They're like, and, and my father was in the military, and my uncle was in the Marine Corps, and I was in the Navy. And we always just say, we used to say, there's always two ways to do things: the right way and the Marine way. There are also two ways to do things in life: the simple way or the hard way.